Okay, we finally got the what is red key card, yeah. And we got this peace vending machine. Uh, we'll use this when we get to the fourth floor and ah, oh, red key. Wait, <laughs> let's close this. The janitor is up there somewhere. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Finally in. Now, what do we have here? Oh, okay. Huh. It's this computer. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Forgotten Saga Online. You can put a CD in there. Ah! <laughs> okay. Still have the CD. And... Whoa. There's a document on the CD. Print, yes. Oh, okay. I hope no one reads this. This based on my experience with the school. It has been just over six years teaching in Yondu High School and I have never forgotten the first time I started my first day here. I felt that something was so wrong. After looking into it, I wish Yondu could have been built someplace else, just not here. The balance of E and okay used to be perf to be perfect at UAE. Okay, there was a gathering at the. They were all set free from the depths of hell. The school had no idea what was going on, so they failed to stop it. But since then, I knew exactly what has been going on the whole time. Since they were set free, five amulets were produced to protect the school in the shape of a peach tree, symbol of Oheyang, the five elements. Each of these elements have the power of exorcism. Piecing together, each of the elements will control the spirits and with the Taegok power overwhelm the spirits. I have researched this and come to a hypnosis there must be a spiritual world among us. And the amulet is the barrier between here and there. This leaves me very worried. The strange sightings, rumors, and activity at the school must mean that that the barrier is somehow slowly breaking. All of the spirits are slowly leaking into this school until the culprit, the person breaking the barrier, finds what they want. After days of research, more research, somewhere, somehow, you can possess the power to resurrect someone using the spiritual world. Or someone that the spirit world is contacting, as maybe by possession. I hate this janitor. Okay, let's get this over with. <laughs> Can't come here, huh? Okay. Hey, I'm here. Oops. Ha 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 ha. No, now what to do with you? <laughs> Don't be a smart ass. <laughs> now, where were we? No. Okay, is that it? Hmm. Okay, we need to open open this red doors. Okay, nothing left here, right? Ah, we've already printed it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Can we play a game? <laughs> Let's try. Put it in there. Nope. <laughs> okay. Still got a city. Okay, let's check this other room. 
Wait. Uh, okay. Ah, there's a blue room. So that means we can't go in there. Yet. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Stupid man. Yeah. <laughs> See? That's easy. <laughs> Now let's go open doors. Red doors, yeah. Third floor. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Wait, I'll trap you here. <laughs> Come on. Come here. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> Stay there. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me do my thing, okay? <laughs> I want to finish this game. Uh, you're making it very hard for me to finish. You keep on chasing me now, okay? Third floor. Stops. Okay, let's check every room. Turn the lights. Okay, no pen. Oh, huh. what's this? It's a note. Oriental study case: the five elements. Teacher Lee Sang Moon, vice principal. We will be counting our studies on the five elements. One of the five elements' duties is to keep a strong balance amongst themselves, maintaining a peaceful bond between each other. Five elements also sustain life between each other. Three keep fire alive. Fire keeps soil alive. Soil keeps iron alive. Iron keeps water alive. And water keeps trees alive. Not only do the five elements sustain life, they restrain each other. Trees restrain soil. Soil restrains water, water restrains fire, fire restrains iron, and iron restrains tree. They are hard to make sense they are hard to make sense of unless you take away the physical imagery that represent each element. You can develop a better understanding using natural imagery. Mm, okay. <laughs> huh. Something out there. Hello? What the? Okay. The janitor is back. <laughs> Thought I'd trap you under. Thought I'd trap him already. Ah, uh, anyway. If he runs after us, we'll just bug him down there. Okay, he's gone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, follow me. <laughs> I'll just keep on trapping you here. Come on. Follow me. That's it. <laughs> okay, come here. Come here. <laughs> okay, that's right. Stay there. <laughs> Got your bug, huh? Huh? What the? Thought I already got the key. You have a spare, huh? Huh? <laughs> Kick you in the butt. <laughs> okay. Now, where were we? Uh, music room. Ah. Oh. Electric control room. Let's see what's in here. 
Ah, it's blue door. Okay. <laughs> Strap there. Look. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Okay. Got it. Whoa. What's that? Okay, no pens, nothing here. Okay, this door is stuck. Okay, I don't like this room. There's nothing there, right? Janitor is still there. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Fourth floor. Reading room. Hmm. It's the key. Okay. Got a better flashlight. Yeah, this one. Uh, okay. It's a drawing containing classified inspection cards. The magazines are exhibit exhibited in the bookshelf. Okay. Here, here, up. Okay, let's read this. It's a note. The meaning of labyrinth. Labyrinths are buildings that are made with lots of pass passages and rooms which are usually underground so that it is difficult to escape them. Today, there is a labyrinth that can be seen in the Garden of Renaissance. It is made with very high fences. The largest labyrinth in the world includes Egypt's labyrinth. The Cretan Labyrinth, Ramnes, Ramneses Labyrinth, and Italy's Labyrinth. There are two types of labyrinth. The first type of labyrinth gives you no choice but to walk to the middle of the labyrinth. In this type of labyrinth, you cannot keep walking the same passage. You have to walk long enough in the different directions to proceed to the desired destination. Okay, the second type of labyrinth contains lots of intersections placed at random making it easier to lose the passage. In this labyrinth, a good memory and judgment is needed. Labyrinths have lots of meanings that change over the course of history. The general purpose and requirements of a labyrinth is to contain passages hard enough to follow that trespassers in a labyrinth will lose them. This is so that only a selected amount of people can pass. Labyrinths symbolize exclusion and confinement. To reach the center of the labyrinth represents rebirth. In some cases, women are the masters of the labyrinth and men are to pass through. The repetition of the labyrinth symbolizes eternity and immortality. In oriental philosophy, it shows the escaping of the rotation within a labyrinth. The labyrinth symbolizes death and rebirth. To enter is to die and to escape is rebirth. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> we need... Ah, save. <laughs> Finally. need lots of this okay we have five and unlock this one okay here's another red room okay we have one more here all right Okay, let's go here first. Another computer room. Okay. <laughs> A 
Okay, classified inspection cards. Huh, some coins. Coin, coin. I have a key here, I know. Peace vending machine. Machine key, okay. Open. Open. The vending machine has been opened. Ah, free. Whoa. Okay. What was that? <laughs> uh, I don't have any free. Free launch box. <laughs> Thought I'm going to get the limited supplies to that. Uh, uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh Okay, this one's not working. Uh Open? <laughs> 